Hey guys, today we are going to talk about an interesting issue between Jeremy and Channel Fireball. So Channel Fireball runs all the GP events. They have a monopoly, thanks to Wizard of the Coast. And to retain this monopoly, I assume they have to make sure that Jeremy does not sneak in to GP Indy. So Jeremy has stated that he would like to go to GP Indy. He has been reported to Channel Fireball and their comment will shock you because they shocked me. I mean, it is crazy that they can control who goes in and go, who goes out of a large event like this. And yeah, I mean, it's a kind of scary. I expect to be fully banned after this video and I probably will be. Maybe banned for life would be nice. And yeah, it's crazy because MTG headquarters spent a lot of money on magic products. I spent a lot of money on magic products. Rudy spent a lot of magic money on magic products and no one's happy on this. Like I disagree with MTG headquarters on a lot of issues, but I agree with his his right to have opinions on those issues. If he believes Christine demean him or sent a bunch of white knights after him, yes, that's his belief and I will defend his right to have his belief. Just as I would defend Christine's right to feel like she was bullied. That is their opinions. Now, the event is on public property and people are saying, oh, it would be hilarious to watch a video of MTG headquarters being ex escorted out of the event grounds should he somehow manage to sneak in. I mean, this is our community. Our community is not a bunch of nice people. Have you met them? Like, have you gone to FNM recently? There's some really mean people who throw their deck at you if you win. There's some incredibly ill adapted socially awkward and would be a nice way to phrase it i wish we were better i wish we could be nicer to each other i wish that it was the community that like people are saying that we have on non-magic people is kind of actually true i think that's how most non-magic players look at us and maybe it is true that we are very 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 strange People. So, seems like someone's going to test the resolve at Channel Fireball by being at the bar at Marriott. Am I being too cautious and worrying that a gun-toting member of the alt-right with a grudge and a following is specifically highlighting Tolarian College? I made a video, today is, what is it, Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, and I made a video on Tolarian, and I made a video on Wedge. They are, they are Wizards of the Coast's, they are sponsored to the hilt by them. And that's what I need to tell you guys. They're not going to talk about card quality being poor. They're not going to talk about Wizards of the Coast in a negative light. Unless they got the green go-ahead. They are paid, promoted, and sponsored. They're not Rudy, and they're not HQ, and they're not me. There are very few channels who will tell you the truth because you to understand the truth, you have to understand where we all came from before there was sponsorship, before Wizard of the Coast. Wizard of the Coast used to have the Community Cup and it was all people from podcasts. It was a big deal when I think it was Wedge, when one person or maybe Tolarian got to go to the Community Cup. I know Wedge got to go. That was a big deal for a YouTuber to go because everyone else was a podcaster. Now podcasting has declined and YouTubing has gone up. How do I know that? Because some podcasts have YouTube now channels. They would never have done that in the past because they belittled and looked very poorly on YouTubers. But now, hey, the game has changed, right? Welcome to the jungle. So my point being, I am very, very upset at Channel Fireball to the point I'm not going to GP Houston and I would advise you also not. I live in Houston I'm pretty sure it's George R. Brown Center that's where all the anime great anime conventions are and instead of spending my money or selling my cards or you know I, I do both obviously I'm going to not go I'm not going to meet my fans unless you want to meet in my store which is having some issues now uh, Presley's been sick and kind of Presley's the main uh, she's the go-to person for the store and uh, she's been sick so we have not made progress on the store or the website or the Patreon or anything that we would need to operate a real store uh, furniture and things of that nature but anyway 
Uh, my point being, my point is very simple. I disagree with Jeremy. I blocked Jeremy. Unsleeve Media is blocked because I don't, it, it's just blocked. I don't want him tagging me on stuff. That's why I blocked him. But I do not agree with Channel Fireball saying that he is not allowed on the premise of a public event that's supposed to be inclusive. When you have cheaters like Alex Pacini winning these events and no one gives a damn. So in the future, I mean, in the future, I hope you guys can see the truth, the honesty, and that there are two types of channels. There's one type of channel that is being promoted or channel fireball. I mean, they got a monopoly on GPs. How do you think that happened? Do you think that happened because they talked bad about Wizard of the Ghost or because they sucked up and did everything they asked for? It's exactly the latter. I still have a lot to expose about Tolarian and Weds. Lots and lots. Uh, the monthly magic box in particular with Tolarian is an interesting story. I think I've only briefly mentioned it, but I didn't have screenshots and all that fun stuff. Uh, I don't know. Um, I may or may not make it. I'm not positive. Uh, it would be a very intense video uh, because all these paragons of our community, pillars of our community, I believe they're calling themselves, they're just in it for money. Their livelihoods depend on you donating to them and their sponsorships. That is fact. That is fact. There's no other, they don't have other jobs. On the flip side, Rudy owns a store, MTG headquarters does some digital marketing, I do some digital marketing. We spend money, we give Wizard of the Coast money. We make Wizard of the Coast money. And they've sided with the people they want to, I mean, it's insane, right? It's absolutely insane that uh, a year ago, or during RTR, I was spending $5,000 because I just loved magic that much. And now I'm not spending a dime. Not one dime. Unless the Patreons want to spend money, which is their money. So it's like, okay, it's like just like diluted. I don't know. Like, obviously, I just spend it to buy the packs. So at the end of the day, uh, my point of this video on I believe Christmas Eve is your friends are people you see in person. Your friends are family members that you see every day that you can talk on the phone with. It is absurd to me that so many people in the community believe that someone who they've never met, who they see on video once a week for 10 minutes is a saint. You can, I could be anything I wanted to be for 10 minutes. I could even take acting classes and get better at, you know, MTG Finance, I guess. Because MTG Finance is all about that acting. Um, it's insane to me. You've, A, you, I mean, many of you have never met. You've never talked to. You've never, you're not their friends. They're not your friends. Why? Give time, give money, give effort, give your love to the people closest to you. Your friends, your families, those who that you talk to on a daily basis, those who you spend time with, those who you go out to dinner with, those who you even play magic with in person. That's the real MTG community. It's not some digital BS that people donate Patreon monies to. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.